Hey guys, I'm back here again. Today, I'm going to remake my own recipe of making cake. Not a cake, it's like an egg pudding, just like last time that I did. But this time, what I have is... I have lots and lots of potion types. <laughs> They're vanilla. Both of them are vanilla. So now, I'm going to have vanilla flavor. And I have new ones that I bought because I want to perfect my baking skill before I do something real. So I have green tea, banana, last but not least, strawberry. So, um, I'm not literally, I don't actually remember the recipe by heart, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Um, and I've got six eggs. Six eggs. This condensed milk type. And the thick version condensed milk. Ready? and a sugar. Also, a butter. I use this brand. <sighs> so yeah, I'm kind of excited because I don't really remember. So now I'm going to... Sit down and it's a dirty so um, so now I'm gonna drip a little bit of vanilla extract. Oh, it smells vanilla. Not too much as well, because it'll be too I don't know. Vanilla-ish and a bread. Um, I'll still use eight. I'll just shred it into my blender. Still using eight slice of bread. Um, four ten. Six. Seven. This time I'll try to use half of it. And see what it's gonna look like. Um, spoon. And I will need to put sugar. Tablespoon. One, two, three, four, five. I put five tablespoon of sugar.
let it not stir as much. Just pour my eggs into the blender. Just like that. And I'm gonna put the condensed milk, the thick version. And my last bread, so that I can take out the things. Just rub it and shred it. All is done. So, what I am going to start is start with banana. Probably later on, I'll just put them back to my to fridge. And now I'm gonna blend. Split. Am I supposed to show you the blending process? Wait. Sorry about the mess. Sorry about the mess from behind, but this is how it looks. This time I'm going to use the baking paper. Which I already got it. But it's really going to be hard to use the baking paper because um, it's not circle. I bought a square type, so hopefully it's going to be lucky enough to, you know. So I might have to use like many papers. This time, I don't know. Um, I need to fill water first. So I have a steamer. So I'm gonna fill it full tank.
pencil corner ready. And now we're going to pour for this bowl mixer into the bowl. Into this. Finger cross, hope it works. Like I said, it's finger crossed. I hope it works. So this is it. Um, I have to wait for a few, you know, few moments for this. Then I think I have to wait like 30 minutes. It might not look good like before, but let's see how it'll be. So after 30 to 40 minutes, I will have to cool it in the fridge for another 15 to 20 minutes and we're ready to eat. So now I'm gonna wait for 30 to 40 minutes and gonna watch some series and wait for a while then I'll come down and check whether it's ready or not after that I'll put it in the fridge to pull it down and I'll take it out hopefully finger cross this time it looks better and hopefully it tastes better because I put vanilla extract as well as banana extract essence so Finger cross, premium. Hopefully this time is very good tasting. Anyway, see you guys in a few minutes. Bye. Hey guys, so this is how it looks like. I think it's almost there. I don't know, but hopefully it's good though. I close it. And now I'm gonna freeze it for a while, not freeze it, cool it for a while and I'll take it out. So, yeah. Hey guys, so this is the finished look. Way better than last time. Smells good, like a banana. So hopefully the taste goes up as well. So I'm gonna cut it into pieces. So see you guys, bye.